Okay, here's the deal. What is this synthesizer known for? Fatness. Fatness. But there's, I have to say, a lot of confusion about what defines fatness. And, and some of you might be surprised by this, but here is what a fat synthesizer sounds like. Now, I know when I said fat synthesizer, you were thinking techno, uh, detuned and big and squelchy and whatever, but no, no, none of those things define what the original term fat meant. The original term fat meant this warm, milky, high, low end, full, saturated, foamy sound that you just heard. And why? Why did that become a term? Well, it was because Moog synthesizers sounded different from the other synthesizers. When Moog synthesizers came out, the original uh, modular Moogs, they were out there and then, you know, the mini Moog, and then people started making other synthesizers and there was a, a, there was a difference between these synthesizers and these other synthesizers. And what that difference was, was the fact that it was capable of this subtle tone color. And other synthesizers sounded less full, less bassy, less big, less broad. They sounded kind of thin and nasal and pointed, even though they had oscillators that were capable of the same frequencies, they didn't have this texture, this coloring, this fatness. And it came to be known as the Moog sound because there was something about the, the Moog sound that was different from all of the other synthesizers. And it has a lot to do with the ladder filter. It, all has, it also has to do with the oscillators. And the way that this whole synthesizer is put together led to this richness that is missing from many synthesizers. And it's a quality that's difficult to generate because it's not just an EQ issue or a filter issue or an oscillator issue. It's a combination of things that come together to make a sound like this. And you'll notice that right now I only have one oscillator on because Detuning is something that any synthesizer with more than one oscillator could do. It's not like all you need is two oscillators and all of a sudden you have fatness. No, all you need is two oscillators and then you have a two oscillator sound. I mean, millions of synths, okay, that's a lie. Lots of synths have two oscillators and it doesn't make a synthesizer fat to have two oscillators. Here, let's listen. Unfortunately, I can't make this unfat, so it's going to just sound bigger. When you detune, that just makes the sound detuned. It adds a natural chorusing effect. That's not the same thing as fatness. Anyone can do that. And squelchiness, what, actually, you add squelchiness, listen to what happens to the low end. Now, this synthesizer can't help but sound fat, but I have to say it sounds less fat than when you make the resonance all squelchy, all, you know. It distracts you from the richness that exists. It's not fat. The detuning isn't fat. What's fat is the simple fact that this synthesizer, first of all, is relatively discreet. Second of all, it's the way that the ladder filter processes the input coming from the oscillators. It's the sound of the oscillators themselves. It's the variation. It's the natural way that this synthesizer emphasizes certain frequencies in itself. So when we look at the sound, all it is is a 16 foot saw wave, uh, not exciting. Going into the filter, the filter has low cutoff frequency, especially low resonance. It's not off. Um, it does, it's nice to add a boost that the resonance will add at the cutoff point. And that's what it's doing. Um, there's a certain amount of contour happening, a relatively fast attack time, not super fast. 
uh, uh, slight decay time, sustained level, immediate attack in the VCA, a high decay in the loudness, and a high sustain level. But the tone is being provided almost entirely by the filter. And also, I have to say, oscillator 3 is off, and I have it set to triangle wave. And it's in the low range, so it's below our hearing, but excellent for control voltage. And it is very subtly, I have the mod wheel slightly on, very subtly altering the cutoff frequency to give us a little bit of motion, a little bit of body. There, you can hear it. But I bring it down to the point where it's not as noticeable. It just adds a little bit of motion so that it doesn't sound like a static sound. And that is where fatness comes from.